Hello stars and welcome back to the Minecraft universe. This is Jason and Jeffrey. And we're here today with a new mod called Telepads. So it's not too too new, but it's still really awesome and I thought I'd show you guys. Uh, if you guys didn't know, today is Double Mod Monday. It doesn't happen every Monday, but when it does, I show you guys two cool mods. And they both have their own separate videos, so if you didn't know, this is the first mod of Double Mod Monday. Isn't that right, Jeffrey? Yes, he knows. Um, then, uh, yeah, th there's going to be another one that comes out later today. I'm not releasing them at the same time. That way you guys don't get confused and think I only released one video. Um, so just just be sure to click the link at the end of this video. If it is already out, then I, the link will be there. Uh, it will f it will link you to the new Double Mod Monday. And uh, for people on mobile and stuff, uh, make sure to just click the link in the description. So, yeah, two two mods today. They're both cool. They're both mini. You know, it's Double Mod Monday. So, uh, they're not the biggest mods. So, this mod is called the Telepad Mod. And it's super cool. And basically, what we're going to want to do is craft a telepad. Oh, Jeffrey's on it today. He's just excited, isn't he? He's, just, he's really interested in <laughs> seeing what I have to do. So, here we go. We're going to craft it. It's crafted just like this. You put some redstone. You put some glass. You put an ender pearl. And you smack an uh, iron block right there. You'll get two of them right off the bat, so you can start teleporting from the beginning, even though you just, um, or pretty much all that stuff you used was, you know, that was kind of an expensive recipe, so it's good you get two. Holy crap, he's multiplying. Oh, oh no! No! Okay, so let's begin here. We got the telepad, and basically what we do is we place it down, and this little uh, little box will come up where you can type. It's It kind of defaults to whatever biome you're in, so I guess I'm like, on a river or something even though I'm not but it's okay uh, I'll just delete that okay I can't delete it you gotta click first you gotta click and then I'm gonna name it Jeffrey's Den no Jeffrey's uh, Jeffrey's Lake Jeffrey Lake Jeffrey Lake how about that perfect because I don't know oh that was not Lake okay alright well I guess just Jeffrey perfect <laughs> I didn't even mean to press enter shut up get out of here get out of here can't just walk in front of my telepad you don't want to get teleported so, whenever I created it, I got this automatic register with uh, telepad locations. And when you right-click it, a bunch of writing comes up in your uh, box over here. And it says, teleporting, one, teleporting, stand on telepad and wait three to five seconds. That's basically how you teleport. Uh, to remove a telepad, you just right-click it with the register little thingy. And basically, that's how that works. Uh, and then the rest of it is just, like, talks about multiplayer stuff because it is possible to use an uh, SMP I guess so look at it. it looks really super cool actually let me turn on particles because I don't think they're on right now um, where do I go to turn on part oh right there all so now you will start to see cool little particles floating into it kind of like the end and it actually looks like the end there it's oh, wow it's so sparkly so beautiful all right Jeffrey you're gonna be my demonstration you're gonna just get right there no no okay well he's a little too scared he wants me to do it so I guess I will um, okay, basically what you do is you stand on it for three to five seconds, and holy crap, bunch of particles, bunch of particles, and eh. A little menu comes up. Right now I have no choice but to click current location, otherwise I can just press X, but it's the same thing. So, uh, we're gonna basically want to create a new telepad. You got two of them, so use the other one as well. You can take it wherever, you can put it anywhere in the overworld, um, and you can actually go to the nether with it. We'll actually demonstrate that here in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here and put it on a tree and call it Jungle Tree. Perfect. Yeah, it's a suitable name. So we're going to do that. And basically, oh crap, I'm really lost. I'm literally thousands of blocks away from my, uh, from my house. I walk onto this. Wait three to five seconds. And wait for it. Wait for it. Jeffrey. And then I return back to Jeffrey. There, there he is. He really wants to try it out. I'm sorry, it doesn't. I don't think it works on pigs, honestly. Sorry, Jeffrey. You're gonna have to. I, I... <laughs> he really wants to try it out. I. It just doesn't work. Okay, that was too cool. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go to the Nether. So let's go ahead and build our Nether portal right now. You know, we're just kind of winging it. We weren't too prepared, but it's okay. We're gonna build our Nether portal. So let's uh, do it, if I remember how to, which I should, which I do, and we're going to do that. Start up the portal, and there you go. We're going to go into the nether. Come on, Jeffrey, you can come in if you want. And we're going to fly through, downloading terrain, because I've never been to the nether, so it's going to take years, probably. No, okay, we're lucky. So uh, you come in here, place down your telepad. It's defaultly hell, because that's... I guess what the nether pretty much is. Button nether, right there, press enter. 
and uh, walk on top of it. Because we're too lazy to go through our nether portal. We just think taking the telepad is too cool. So we go here, we got the Jeffrey, we got the jungle tree, current location, and X. So we're going to go back to Jeffrey, because we miss him, and you know, it's been a while. Uh, he, he's got, he got a little impatient last time, now he's just kind of giving up. I think he wants to fish. You want a fishing pole, Jeffrey? Do you know how to make a fishing pole? Here, I'll grab you one. There you go. Yeah, yeah, he's hopeless. I don't think he's going to... I don't think he knows how to fish. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you got this. Make sure this, you keep this, I guess, because if you want to delete a portal, you delete it like that because uh, we want this to be Jeffrey's Lake, not Jeffrey. So, Or actually, just Jeffrey Lake. That sounds cooler. There we go. Jeffrey Lake, enter. Perfect. And so basically, it just works like that. Super simple, super easy, and it's perfect for anything, really. I think it's good for like mod packs like Hexit and stuff. Uh, so, you know, you can get around if you're, like, filming or doing a Let's Play. So that way, it's, uh, you know, it's very convenient. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys check out the other mod for today. The other mod is called Hamsterific. It adds little hamsters into your game that you can, uh, bring along with you on your adventure. It's super funny. So make sure you guys check that out. And, uh, smash the like button if you love the Double Mod Mondays. And I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.